Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set a DHCP reservation for a virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So as you may or may not know, um, when you use VMware Workstation in the default settings, it'll have a DHCP server internally that'll give your virtual machines their IP address. So what you could do, if you go to Edit and Virtual Network Editor, and go to your NAT, NAT type of uh, adapter here, assuming you're using NAT for your networking, which you should be by default, then you could see the... Uh, the subnet 192.168.13.0 and the subnet mask so that's the range it's using for DHCP and you could actually change this if you want to or you really need to use something else so let's say we have this virtual machine here let's do a command prompt let's see what we got for an IP address so this is dot 200 let's say we want to change it to 100 so it always uses 100 so what you need to do if you go in your VMware directory under program data VMware there's this vmnet dhcp.conf file. So if you double click it, you can open it with Notepad because we're going to edit this. But if you save it, it's going to save it with this name and, and .txt and not save the actual file. So the best way around that is to run Notepad as administrator. So you can just find the icon, run as administrator, and then browse to the location of that file. And what you'll have to do is it's only going to find text document and set it to all files. And then we could open up this guy here, go down to the bottom so we get a new line. And then what you're going to add is this information here. The host, so you're going to change this to your host name of your computer. So if you don't know that, you can just type that here too on your VM. And then you're going to want the MAC address from the VM. So another way to do that. So IP config all. That's this guy here, but I think it prefers the colon format. So what you could do is either copy and paste that and change the dashes to colons, or from the VM itself, you could go to the settings, network adapter, advanced, and then you got it right there. You could just copy and paste it in the correct format. And then you're going to want to put the IP address that you want to use. So change the host name, change the MAC address, change the IP address from this information, which I'll put in the description. Okay, so we're going to copy this, go into our configuration file, paste it in there, and we're going to save it. So this way it lets you save it without making a separate text file. So now on your host that's running VMware Workstation, you want to start the, uh, this particular service here, VMNet DHCP. So you can just open a command prompt, so administrative command prompt, by the way. Type that in there. Okay, then the same thing and start it. Okay, so then for the VM, you could either reboot it or you could try to do an IP config release. And then the same thing with renew. Okay, so you can see right there, we got the dot .100 that matches this. Okay, so to summarize, you want to find this configuration file, open it in administrative notepad. Like I said, if you double click it here, it's just going to, and you try and save it, it's going to save it with a text file, and you'll have to delete the original one, rename your .txt to .conf. So do that, open it up, take this text here, find the host name for your VM, Find its MAC address with the colon format. Decide what address you want to use. Make sure it's in the same subnet that you're using for your virtual machines, which you could find from the Edit Virtual Network Editor. And then NAT, assuming you're using NAT. So dot .13. And then once you get that information in this configuration file, save it. Then do a net stop VM net DHCP, net start VMNet DHCP, then go back to your virtual machine, IP config release, IP config renew, or just reboot the VM, and then you should have this IP address every time you uh, start up that virtual machine. All right, so I'll put this stuff in the uh, description, so that way you could just copy and paste it and just edit it as needed, 
and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.